Hey everybody, so being that it's Father's Day and I have these cool 3D printers over here, I was thinking about making something really cool for my dad. And recently, he was in Italy and he was at the Colosseum. So one of the first questions he asked me is, could you 3D print the Colosseum? And my response was, there's no possible way. It's too detailed, just can't do it. And of course, as soon as he said that, I immediately went online I went on Thingiverse, which is where you find some really great designs, found the Roman Colosseum, and just set the printer up to print super slow and very, very fine detail. And this is when I made them. So I'll put a link in the description below, but look at that level of detail. So he has no idea he's getting this today. Then we were actually gonna to go to medieval times in Jersey and instead we're just gonna do a hike, which is still gonna be a lot of fun. Ice, say hi. <laughs> She's like, I want to be in the video. You can't make videos about 3D printing less a minute. That's the rule. All right, you're in the video now. So then we're not going to medieval times, but I thought how cool would it be Make like these little figures. So a wizard, a druid, a halfling. I guess this is like death or something, I don't even know. And this is a paladin. So then you can't see it now because it's daytime. But if I put this in here at night, the entire Colosseum glows. So I was thinking like future reference, if I were ever to build this again, I would want to make a base, like the same as this, but about that thick. Then take a soldering iron, carve out the center, and put this through. So when you flip this over, like that, on the bottom is where you have the switch to turn it on and off. And then you just have the light coming up, or even to have like different lights, one, two, three, four, built into it. And maybe instead of one switch, just connect all of them together. So I think he's really gonna like this. There you go. Real life battles in the Coliseum. Paladin versus wizard, who will win? <laughs> Paladin versus the halfling, hobbit style. Paladin versus the druid. Paladin versus death. That would actually be a really good fight. So yeah, he's gonna come here and see this. It's gonna be pretty cool. Let's see what ice is up to. So she really likes this apartment. The whole thing is just a giant cat tree. I actually built my old cat tree. And when I was in college, when I had a cat, I also built my own cat tree. So this is a cat tree. And the cool thing about it is that she had no idea what stairs were. It took her a long time to get used to stairs. I had to actually teach her and she would just face plant all the time, running up and down the stairs. And now she just hops like a bunny up and down. So yeah, life is good. And soon, we'll start using these to make cat toys. It's amazing when you look at the designs that are already online without even having to design anything yourself. We're talking like the exact same stuff that you see in the big box stores. And you can make it for next to nothing. So maybe people watching this will get into 3D printing. For me, it was because of the 3D printed prosthetic hands. That's how I got into 3D printing. I wanted to do something good. But if you're a cat lover, or even a dog lover, can make your own toys. There's a lot of stuff you can do. Ice, say goodbye. All right, that's gonna be it for now. And don't forget about the GoFundMe campaign, super important. Make sure you like, subscribe, and check out all social media. Thanks so much, everybody, and comment below.
Be sure to follow my Twitter and check out my GoFundMe campaign to help raise money to 3D print prosthetic limbs for kids. Links in the description below.